it's busy here. Me in a tree. And I went off at four o'clock, left home at half past four, due to arrive here, 25 to six, got lost twice, arrived here at 10 past six, missed the glorious sunrise colour. Oh, I forgot where I am. Oh, I forgot where I am. Bugger. I'll put a link on the screen. North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire Moors. What inspired me to get here was a video by Simon Baxter where he came here and it was glorious. It was lush heather. You can almost smell the fragrant summer. This is like a scene out of the apocalypse now. It's been controlled burnt. There's not a colour in sight apart from brown, which is not the most photogenic. Now, I'm not complaining. This I love. I've got every intention today of, at the end of this vlog, being covered in crap. Three things today, low angle, forest, perspectives, wide angle. Two, two vlog shout outs, one for an established vlogger, one for a new vlogger. And I've got a book review. Michael Kenner's book, who, if you haven't heard of him, I'm sure you have, is an absolutely fantastic black and white film minimal photographer so that's the plan woods low angle points of view to get covered in crap got to change of clothes and a book review that's the tree around here there are some lovely foreground interest i say lovely it's not lovely it's barren it's desolate it's burnt but it works well with the sky that you've got i'm going to do a full 360 the view from this angle is completely different from the view from that angle because that branch there is jutting out this way. If you take it from that way, the angle is more of a round tree. So it just pays to circle the picture that you're going to take if you can. Obviously, if you're on the beach, you can't get to the sea. It is quite strange having said that because there are a few pockets of colour just in front of the tree there's a burnt bush to that side there's another smaller brush which I photographed there's nothing in the sky nothing in the sky at all so there will be black and white and there won't be keepers there's probably not going to be any colour in the forest right I sign off for there I'm going to get a few photographs of this from different angles and I'm going to get into the forest because it is getting very blustery well, as you can see, I've ventured into the forest. The rain came a little earlier than anticipated. Wonderfully quiet. So what encouraged me to come here? What convinced me to come here? Having looked at my vlogs, having looked at my Flickr channel, etc. Probably 80-90% of them are by water of some kind mainly coastal also around the lake district so i thought i'll do something different as i may have said got up this morning got into the car flick flacked thought i'm gonna go salt them by the sea then i could feel this thing tapping in the back of my head and it was lean saying you said you were going to do different so i am but I thought I'm going to get into the woods. I've mentioned before in a previous vlog. Well, I may have mentioned it unless I put this vlog before the one I mentioned it in. In which, which will mean that I haven't mentioned it before. And when I do mention it, there will be no mention of me mentioning it before. Clear? The first vlog I'm going to give a shout out for. And considering the environment I'm in. It's Simon Baxter.
The last time he was here, over there, it was lush colours. I could smell the heather. Wonderful. And one thing he says, he articulated it very well. He looks for metaphor. One of his better ones, in my opinion, is, I believe it's called the bully. We've got this huge tree towering over this tree that's on the floor, or branches that are on the floor. And once you give it a name, or a description, or a bit of a story, it really does take it to a different level. It can be tiring, because you're looking for metaphors everywhere. So you have to learn to shut down, to slow down, and just to look at where you are. Having a sneezing fit at 70 mile an hour on a motorway, and I had one recently when I was out with Lynn, I must have had about 20 or 30 sneezes. Drove up the bloody wall. You have to close your eyes. It's hard to not do anything. It's hard not to jump up and run around. But it is quite peaceful. It's very tranquil. It's very calm. There's nobody here. That provides a good segue into the book review I'm going to do, which is Michael Kenner. Well, it's raining. But I expected it. I saw in the distance some kind of ladder with some kind of observation post. Now I might pop up there for some lunch as in a bottle of water and a chocolate bar. Yeah I'm hoping I can get up there. Now inside of me I'm thinking Andy don't fucking do it, don't do it. Oh that looks safe. Now then on a scale of 10, how safe does that look? Well, I'm going up. This might be a short vlog and you might never see it, but I'll catch you soon. This is good. Whoa. The stairs just about held. It's bloody windy up here. This is great. Not enough room for a sleeping bag. Maybe. Cracking view. Cracking view. I don't know what it's for. Bird watching, maybe. But the temperature up here is probably a couple of degrees colder than it is down there, and the wind is definitely stronger. It's good because you can actually look around to see what there is. Interesting perspective. There's loads of fallen trees, loads of them all over the place. I say fallen, they've been cut down. Wonder why that is. May have been dying or dead. Anyway, I'm going back in the woods because it's bloody freezing. <laughs> Cheers guys, bye. Everything's fine Wouldn't expect any more from this The situation's in line With every story that I heard Of the burning bliss and I wait Trying to appreciate I've been planning this vlog all week. I've had the storyboard in my head. There's nobody behind you. There's nobody behind you. There's nobody behind you. There's nobody behind me. I've had it planned out, but it's still raining. The sky still pants. There's a bit of mist coming in. Have you seen a dead deer over there? It's like a bloody scene at Deliverance. One thing I am looking to do more of is the photographic side of it. Because it is a photography vlog, after all, not a, a travelling, rambling vlog. Yeah. So I've done one shout out. I'll do the other now. It's to a new vlogger, Rich Robson. I've known Rich for four years now. Cracking lad. Very, very friendly. And we'll talk to everybody and say hello to everybody and say have a nice day to everybody. And it's not just platitude, he means every word he says. Great guy. I've been on several meets with him. He's a, he's a new vlogger. I think he's got about, well, he's got a few subscribers. Good on him. But he's at a stage which I was at probably a year after starting vlogging. He's got his walkings, he's got his narrative, he's got the flow of his videos done well. He talks about technique, he's got a good delivery style, he's got a good, uh, a good, tone, a good tone to his voice. And he's got a friendly disposition that comes through. So I'll put a link below 
I believe his channel's called Rich Robson, but there will be a link below. I think I've linked to him before. I know you're a bit anxious about doing them, but you've done a couple, and I'm sure you've done more. And you will love them at the moment. In a few years' time, she'll think, Dad, you're such, you're such a geek, as Isabel does. But you'll love them. So, Simon Baxter, Rich Robson, links below, check them out. One thing I will say, I do not expect this to be reciprocated if i ever do a shout out do not feel obliged compelled to do the same for me there's nobody behind me there's nobody behind me there is a bit of mist coming in the woods over there are very different from the ones over here they seem to have far more characterful trees over there these are very up and down there's a lot of newly planted trees saplings I'm going to go round this area here because there are some more trees down there. I'm going to head off to a local village to get a bite to eat because all I brought was biscuits and they've gone. I keep thinking it's Friday. I've captured a sister's tree, three vertical uh, trees very close to each other. A title in development and I've captured one that I may call mother and daughter. Quite a large tree and a smaller tree next to it and it really does help so thanks to Simon for planting the idea of the metaphor because once you start to think in that way the trees seem to come alive they seem to communicate with you more you seem to see things that you wouldn't normally see there are some fallen trees and the fallen trees do remind me of of, of battle of war the fallen heroes of, of the marines philosophy of never leave a soldier behind what the hell am i talking about i tell you i feel fell in sometimes and jacket and anybody who knows me i'll have a conversation in my head and after about 10 minutes i'll blurt out something that makes sense to me because i've had this 10 minute conversation lynn will be looking at me as if to say what the hell are you talking about there's nobody behind me there's nobody behind me that's it cheers guys yeah.